All right, let's start off by talking about some gears here. When I talk about gears, there, there are several types of gears. Obviously, you have your hero gears, which are here. And those are your hero gears. And then you have your chief gears, which are up here. And that's these here. And then you have your badges, which I consider part of your gears. Um, it's a badge enhancement to your chief gears. So there's three types of gears, and they're, they're, they serve different purposes, and they're, what you're trying to accomplish will depend on which gear you want to upgrade. So let's talk about hero gears first. Um, hero gears are the uh, are upgrades to, if you go into your hero gears, and you'll see that I only got one here that I can go into. Let me get it here. So you go into your hero's gears, and you can see here that this is a boost to your explorer stats and to your military stats. For most people, it's the military stats, the stats that are important. With your hero gears, you're looking at your health and lethality boost only. So regardless of which type of troop you're going into to, um, to boost, it's going to boost... Um, in the military side, your health and lethality. So this is this is um, all you're going to get out of that. Now, if you want your attack and defense, your other two stats, because there are the four basic stats, the two yin and yangs, the attack and defense, and your health and lethality. So your uh, health and lethality are obviously your hero gears. So you go to the heroes to do it. Your chief gear, on the other hand, is the attack and defense. And these you can uh, you boost in order to get higher attack or defense. Then you have the third one, which is your badges. And your badges boost your health and lethality again. Now... There are some other ways to boost those different stats, uh, but they don't pertain to your gears. The good thing about gears is that once you upgrade your gears, it's permanent. So the permanent, and what I mean by permanent is it doesn't matter what heroes you get. It doesn't matter uh, what else you change, wherever you spend your money. It's kind of like doing research. Once you do the research, it's done forever and you never have to do it again. So a lot of times when I'm trying to figure out what I want to spend on for packs, I look at what is going to have permanent effects on my account as opposed to temporary effects. And what do I mean by temporary? Well, if I buy troops, troops can die. Troops are gone. If I buy um, hero uh, badges, not badges, hero um, frags, so let's say I wanted to upgrade one of these heroes, like uh, Tweak here. I would need another 120 to get to level 5 here, and then another 120 to get to, or excuse me, 70 and 70, in order to get to my colonel. And then I'd need 120 all the way up. Now, I could spend the money on those, but the problem is, once this hero's gone, those uh, upgrades go with it. Whereas, when I spend it on these badges down here, this last one that I've got to do, once I do this last one, I never have to do them again. And every hero that follows, when it comes to uh, gears, gets that benefit. That's the good thing. So, <clears throat> usually there are three different types of gears for uh, your heroes. You can click on this here and you can see the different levels that you can get up to. So you start off with the light set, the swift set, the rapid set, which is a blue. Purple is your thunder set, and your lightning set, which are gold. Each one of these has multiple levels that you can purchase, or that you can upgrade to, that show you the different levels for each one. Now, your different heroes upgrade different gears for those different types. So you have a... Um, you have three different types, which obviously I think we're all aware of that. Um, so in this case, you have in your uh, in your um, stats here, it tells you who who you have, 
And so we have three different types of um, soldiers. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of something else where I'm going to go instead of what I'm doing here. So let's, let's get on to this. So there's infantry, infantry and your infantry, once you, uh, you have three different types of badges that you are three different types of gears you could upgrade. And then you have another set of three, which is down under your hunters. And you have three there. And your third set is in your riders. And your riders, you have three sets. So there are six, nine sets of gears to upgrade for your hero gears. And each one pertains to different sets of it. So one does health and lethality. The second one does just lethality. And the third one does health and lethality again. And then you have that same three repeating sets for each of the troop types that you have. Whoops, wrong button. And... Uh, lethality, health and lethality, and health and lethality. And usually there's two of two of each kind. And uh, health, health and lethality, health and lethality. All right. Then there's your chief gears, and you also have six different of those. And of those, it's basically uh, each one of these pertains to um, all of the uh, different troops also. So your helmet and your boots are your infantry and your gun and your chest plate are your riders and that leaves your knee pads and your radio or whatever you want to call it as your hunters. And then each of these has enhancements which are badges, and badges are health and lethality again, and you have multiple levels to go through. Let's see if I can get a picture of that. Um, gears over here. So your gears go through all of these different phases for each one of them, and at each different level and each upgrade, you get different stats, and you increase those stats for those attack for each one. And the same thing is true for your badges. Now, the thing that's important to remember on your chief gears and uh, is there's bonuses for having multiple of the same thing. So if you notice here on the right, there's a quality benefit. And so this one says that if you have a three pieces of the same type, that you get a plus eight to your defense, your infantry defense, your hunter defense, and your rider defense. That means that you have to get three, one, two, three, in order to get that bonus. And then if you get six, you get the bottom one. So you get a six piece, you get another 8% on each. So it does pay, even on the lower levels, to either have all purple or have all gold or have all red, as it would give you the bonus of having them. Now, it says six piece of immortal gear or above. So that doesn't mean that you can have to keep them all purple and you can't move any to gold. If you move one up to gold, a lot of people choose the helmet because the infantry seems to be the one that you want to do it first. Um, I would upgrade your infantry first, and then I would upgrade your hunter second, which is your boots and your radio. And then your, th your third one would be your riders. Uh, being that you use the least amount of riders in your attacks, and in your formations. And I encourage you to look at the formations video if you don't get that. Um, so badges being last, this has silver, gold, and uh, red. There might have been another one in there. Let's see if there's a showcase. Yes, there is, here we go. So there was a, a copper, a silver, a gold, and a red. Each one of these also has multiple levels in it. So there was uh, from the copper, there was two levels. The silver, there was two levels. The gold, there is three levels. And the red, there is a lot, four levels. 